Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about adding transparency to your Windows. Now, I've got two tools here. These are both free to download, and I'll provide the links in the description. And they both do different things. So, let's get started with the first one. The first one is Glass 2K. Now, this is good if you want to uh, make your taskbar transparent, and several windows transparent as well. So. I'm going to go into the uh, little icon in the corner. Now, both of these programs you can run at startup. They've got options to run them at startup. I'm uh, just going to right click this, and I uh, don't know why, but it randomly goes to the bottom. I'm just going to right click it again. I'm just going to say settings. It's a Glass 2K settings. Auto load Glass 2K every time Windows starts. Auto remember every Windows transparency settings and beep on Glassification. So, um, you can see, I'm, I'm just going to skip this for a second because you can see it says taskbar transparency here and it's got a long blue bar. Now if I was to drag this down so you kind of see what's going on, so you can now see the taskbar and, uh, well hopefully you can see the taskbar and the box. So as I drag my mouse, I'm going to click and drag, hopefully you can see that my taskbar is now getting more and more transparent. So I could go all the way down and so now you'll probably see that almost uh, my taskbar has gone like very very transparent so it's a great way to have if you want to have transparency in your taskbar and again you can you can set all the options you can have it slightly transparent so it's, it's a little bit transparent or just completely transparent now the next one I'm going to talk about is the transparency pop-up and the keyboard shortcuts now if I open um, I'll just uh, open this and go onto my home page that this was just something I put on a, a forum a couple of seconds ago and uh, I'm on Google now, what if I want to make this um, box transparent, uh, completely transparent, the whole box? Uh, what you can do is I've, it's got a keyboard shortcut set from 0 to 9 with Control and Shift. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to focus it on the top left. I'm just going to press Control, Shift, and you can press 0 to 9. So I'm just going to press 9. And can you see that it's gone slightly transparent? Yep. And I'm going to press 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So now this is on the lowest transparent, um, or the most transparent that you can get it. And you can see that I'm actually seeing all the icons that are behind me and um, my wallpaper. So um, that's quite good if you want to sort of have these out of focus in the background. You can still use it and uh, Google search and do what you want to do. And obviously if you want to change the transparency levels, you just go from Control Shift 9 or all the way to 1. Now. Uh, I think 0 turns it off completely, so it goes back to uh, opaque, but 1 to 9 does all the transparency settings. Now, if you don't want to use keyboard shortcuts, I believe you can just right click the top, and um, it should, it doesn't seem to be doing it at the moment, but uh, normally, I think perhaps it's a screen recorder, normally you'd, you'd right click the top, and it would come up as, uh, with a pop-up option that has 10 to 90%. I'm not quite sure why it's not showing it for me. Um, Alright, I'll say Alt. Right click and Alt. So Alt and right click. There we go. <laughs> so I've set. Um, I just set a shortcut. So it's Alt and right click. So you can see it says Firefox .exe, and we've got the levels in percentages of the transparency. So if I click 40%, it switches it to 40% transparency. So I'm pressing Alt, right click again, and then I'm just going to go to No Glass because you've seen everything here. Now another great feature of this is you can right click and say on top. So if I was to open up another Firefox it opens up behind this um, window so it's uh, always on top which is great because you could then mix this on top functionality and have transparency so you can have this on top in the corner or something and um, with whatever you want like messenger or something and you can have that on top in the corner and then you can still work on what you're doing in the background so uh, it's quite a good program to have and uh, I think it's, um, they've stopped developing it now but it's still a very good program to use now obviously as they stop developing it there may be bugs in it and it may be old software so but you, you've just seen me do it and it works fine so this is uh, Glass 2K now um, the next one I'll show you I'm just going to uh, quick Glass 2K for the seconds next one I'm going to show you is True Transparency now this um, applies the arrow kind of effect that you get in Windows Vista on your XP system. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up Firefox again. And you can see I've got my black SLAN XP theme here. Um, all I'm going to do is run True Transparency. Double click it. And you'll notice that straight away my theme has actually changed. I, and it, I'm not sure if you can see this but uh, I have this like dragon like thing in the background. And my title bar has now gone transparent. 
Now, you, I don't think you can alter the settings with this. Because if I right click and go to skin, uh, there's not many options here, it just says skin, arrow one and arrow two. Now, I didn't like arrow one, um, I don't know why, but this, this is arrow one. And as you can see, we've got the um, Vista arrow style things here, and then arrow two. Now, I think, believe this is used in the transformation pack um, that you can get from Windows X. But uh, as you can see, it's just tra it just transforms your visual style to look more like um, Arrow. Now, if you, I'm not sure if it's worth trying, but you might want to try both of them, and then you can have a transparent taskbar. Well, actually, you can see I've still got my transparent taskbar from my Glass 2K settings. So I've got my transparent taskbar, and I have the Arrow theme. So... Uh, it's quite, these two are quite good programs to use if, you lo if you're a big fan of the transparency on Vista and uh, you want to get that functionality in XP or you, um, you have Vista Home Basic or something and you want to try and get that working on there but uh, I can't confirm that it works in Home Basic or anything because I haven't tried it so you might want to try it out and let me know but uh, these are two of the well major ones that you can get at the moment. Um, I may have missed one. If I have, let me know again. Um, that you can make can make your um, windows transparent in various ways. So uh, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.